Welcome, family and friends. It is my pleasure today to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather today and pay my respects to the elders, past and present. I expend, extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today. My name is Joel Shakespeare, and I am so honoured and privileged to be here at the Hunter Region Botanical Gardens as an authorised marriage celebrant to officiate on this special occasion. And I would like to welcome you to the marriage of Chloe Rose Hendricks and Philip Go and G. Chloe from Queensland, living in Sydney, met Philip from Santosa when they were both attending a conference for secondary school teachers in Singapore. The love started to bloom like the local cherry blossom trees. And Philip moved to Sydney where the love continued to grow. So today, this is not the beginning of a new relationship between Chloe and Philip, but a public acknowledgement of a strong bond that already exists between the two, which is leading them into the next chapter of their lives together. Today, they want to come before you to affirm this bond, both formally, formally and publicly. Chloe and Philip have told me that this affirmation means so much more to them because they are sharing this moment with all of you, the ones they class as their closest, dearest and most loved friends. They have asked me to thank you on behalf of them today for being here to witness and celebrate their love. Today our beautiful bride and groom have asked we read from beginning to end by Robert Fulham. Today they've asked that Lena will do this reading for them. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all these things we've promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I mean it all, every word. Look at one another and remember at this moment in time, before this moment you have been many things to one another, an acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even a teacher. For you have learned much from one another in these last few years. Now you shall say a few words that take you across at the threshold of life, and things will never be quite the same between you two. For those after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, and this is my wife. Thank you, Thank you very much for those beautiful words, Lena. Today, Chloe, you have your parents, Elizabeth and George, and Philip, you have your parents, Jane and Edward, here to celebrate and give you away. So we ask jointly of them now, will you support with the love and marriage of your dear children? We do. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Elizabeth and George, and Jane and Edward. We now will continue on with the ceremony. Today, another family has been recognised as a family that will strive to nurture the hopes of those who are part of it. There is a whole network of relationships set up by marriage, and one of the more important relationships are that between step relationships. Chloe and Philip are very aware that patience, tolerance, and goodwill are needed to be exercised when new step families make a permanent commitment. They also know that these step families can then become enriching and rewarding for all concerned. We would like to take this moment to recognise Chloe's daughter, Rose, and the part she plays in Chloe and Philip's lives. Rose is sitting in the front row here. Bless you, Bless you Philip. We will now continue. I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you are joined in marriage, in my presence and in the presence of your witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationships which you are now about to enter. Marriage according to law in Australia 
is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others and is voluntarily entered into for life. Chloe, will you take Philip to be your husband? Will you love and cherish him and respect and honour him as your soulmate? Will you stand by him through good times and bad times for the rest of your lives together? I do. Philip, will you take Chloe to be your wife? Will you love her and cherish her, respect and honour her as your soulmate? Will you stand by her through good times and bad times for the rest of your lives together? I do. Thank you. In the light of their love and friendship, I will now ask Chloe and Philip to exchange their vows. Present to witness that. I, Chloe, taking Philip. I, Chloe, taking Philip. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. I give you this promise. I give you this promise. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Philip, I call upon the persons here to be present. The persons here present to witness that I, Philip, to witness that I, Philip, take you, Chloe, take you, Chloe, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, I give you this promise. I give you this promise. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Perfect, thank you. Today, Chloe and Philip have beautiful rings to exchange, and I'll just grab those off Kim. Thank you. That's a little bit awkward. Just look at those diamonds glisten in the sunlight. These rings have no beginning and have no end. They set forth the eternal nature of real love. They will represent the love and trust that Chloe and Philip promised to each other on this day. Let these rings be a sign that love has a past, a present and a future. May these rings, symbols of eternity and a visible sign of marriage, be worn with pride, happiness and enjoyment for your shared life together. This ring is a token of my everlasting love. Of my everlasting love. And a sign of the promise that I make to you today. And a sign of the promise that I make to you today. Chloe, this ring. Chloe, this ring is a token of my everlasting love. Is a token of my everlasting love. And a sign of the promise. And a sign of the promise that I make to you today. That I make to you today. So family and friends, today our lovely couple have chosen to incorporate a ritual into their ceremony. They would love to take these majestic butterflies and release them to signify their love, hope, beauty and the beginning of their journey in front of you all today as a married couple. Very beautiful. May you delight in the joys of a happy family life with healthy children. May you be blessed with continuous work so that you may fulfill all of your hopes and dreams. Guests, please join me in blessing our newlyweds, Chloe and Phil. As part of this, our newlyweds have another reading for us today. As written and spoken by R.M. Drake will be read to you by Kim today. But dear, don't be afraid of love, it's only magic.
Chloe and Philip, you have made your vows today and exchanged rings, surrounded by your family and your friends, who share in the joy of your marriage, celebrate your union while maintaining your sense of freedom and individuality. Uphold and affirm the other, who they are and what they want to be. Nurture your marriage, your love and your friendship. By the authority invested in me by the Commonwealth of Australia, I have the pleasure in declaring that you are now husband and wife. Chloe and Philip, I invite you to begin your married life with a kiss. Beautiful. So now what we're going to do, family and friends, if you just please wait with us a moment, we'll, we'll have Chloe and Philip take take themselves over here, walk over and take a seat. Kim and Lena will get you to stand behind them and put their chairs in. And we're going to sign the official documentation. I'm going to invite the rest of our family and friends to sit and watch while the signing takes place. And I'll invite our two witnesses, Lena Kowalski and Kim Park, who are standing here joining us at the signing table. All right, now all our official documentation and the marriage register has been signed, so I would like to introduce you once again to Chloe and Philip and Jean. And would you like to come back on the move? So family and friends, now that Chloe and Philip have signed their documentation in front of their two witnesses, Lena Kowalski and Kim Park, and myself, Joel Shakespeare, as the civil celebrant here today. Family and friends, please be standing, clap, cheer, and celebrate with me in congratulating our husband and wife, Philip and Chloe and Jean. And then, what we're going to do now while we celebrate we would like to introduce them as they turn and face you once again. Yeah. Once again, we're going to introduce them. Philip and Chloe and G. <laughs> Please, everyone, continue to cheer, clap. Woo! Woo! They got married! They Yay! Got married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go. And now, Kim. And now Kim and Lena will follow on. Thank you, Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Family and friends, once again, my name is Joel Shakespeare and I was so honoured and privileged to be here in Hunter Regional Botanical Gardens as an authorised marriage celebrant to officiate on this special occasion. I would like to thank you for inviting me to be part of this ceremony today and to be part of the special day. Thank you very much. Refreshments will now be served inside whilst our lovely married couple go off and get some photos taken. Thank you.